I've now got the uh, the setup with the uh, Pico running the transputer links here and the Arduino embedded here with the uh, link adapter between them but what I've got now I've got the Arduino sending a byte out through the link adapter through the transputer link to the Pico which receives that byte and then just echoes it back through the link through the adapter back to the Arduino uh, Mega and here you've got the out which is what the uh, Mega sent and you've got the in which is what the Mega received and they should be the same obviously because it's just echoing at the other end. Now this is also sending and receiving ACK packets in both directions so we've got the, the link is now working basically. The, um, the link adapter is agreeing that I'm sending the protocol correctly and um, everything's getting ACKed at uh, both ends I think. If I remember rightly, I'm not sure if the Pico is doing the uh, checking the acts. I think it is. It's definitely sending them because you wouldn't be able to go through the link adapter unless you uh, act the packet. So uh, I think we're in a state now where basically the hardware is working, and I'm pretty happy that the uh, transputer link's working. The next thing to do is to hook up the PIOs, which are running the transputer link in each direction, to the uh, emulator. So I need to delve into the instructions that handle link input and output inside the emulator and hook those up to the real hardware that we've got here. So uh, we do have, in here, we do have, in the Pico, we've got some, uh, well, the RP2040, we've got some uh, hardware now. The PIOs are actually doing uh, the link traffic, so it's, it's it's a little bit of the way towards a, a transputer. There, I mean, the emulator's running in here as well. It's just it's decoupled from the uh, from the link. So uh, once I do that, I suppose that's it, isn't it? <laughs> once I hook the uh, the input and output instructions up. Um, the Pico will be able to use the links. I've only got one link at the moment but the way that the um, Pico works it's pretty easy to set up the four links. You just basically have um, four state machines running a transmit, four state machines running the receive and you can have those state machines run the same program so they execute the same instructions. You don't have to duplicate the, the code across them all so that's pretty neat. Hopefully it works. I haven't tried that bit yet. I've also got the uh, the 5 meg clock at the moment for the link adapter is being driven from one of the state machines so I'm down one the state machine but that's simply because I'm using this um, link adapter. If I go Pico to Pico I don't need that clock because they use their own internal clock and because they're all running the same code and on the same hardware hopefully the crystals are in close enough tolerance that the links will just work. Um, if not, I'll just have to arrange something, do something to make make it work. Um, I've got some level shifters here. So there's a level shifter for the clock um, and also the two link lines. So there's three transistors doing level shift in there. And obviously, because the link adapter is 5 volts, that's why I chose a mega over here because that's 5 volts and I don't need any um, any level shifters. If I'm going Pico to Pico, across a transputer link. I don't need any level shifters, they're both 3.3 volts so that should be, well that's a lot easier. So really if you want to set up a, a network of um, 10 transputers all you need are 10 picos and you just need to wire the links up however you want and that's it. They've got their own voltage regulators, you'd have to power each one off a USB socket at the moment oh, I'm powering everything with um, USB so uh, but you've got you've got the pins, you could put them on a board and you could wire the power up to one central power supply and they don't take a lot of power either. So uh, yeah, I've also uh, I've had a quick go at using this arrangement as a tester for the link adapter because obviously if you have a broken one you're not going to get the uh, echoing of data so uh, I've put two chips in there so far out of the five or six that I've got and uh, they both work. One was an ST and one was an Inmos. Seemed to work fine. So uh, 
Yeah, uh, next step's all in code, I think. Apart from maybe uh, at the end of this, I might make some sort of board up. I might PCB this. It'll be neater. And um, I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do for the transputers. I don't know whether I want to just have a board with loads of picos or or what at the moment. In fact, you don't really need PCB. You could just wire them up. Um, just wire the transputers with wires. Leave the boards as boards and uh, hook the power and ground up and, it, and you'll have a little um, transputer lump. So uh, first thing though is to hook these instructions up and see if we can get this thing working and maybe running the uh, Hello World program. But uh, yeah, there we go.